In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some social savants with their data store performance. Are we still on for a performance game night? Stay tuned to find out. FriendSet is building a standard, run-of-the-mill mobile social media platform. However, as their user load started to rise, they noticed that the time it takes to retrieve social posts started to get longer and longer. After a few hours of profiling and working with their team, we quickly saw the issue. Uh, although their client was only getting part of the fetch data, their server was fetching the full data per entity from data store. And as the list got larger, their performance got worse. Uh, see, by default, Cloud Data Store will return entire entities as the result of a query, and most developers haven't yet found that projection queries can actually help them. We see a lot of implementations with Data Store that looks something like this. A user makes a request and Data Store fetches the relevant entities. Then some front end prunes the entity properties and passes on only the relevant data back to the requesting client. Sadly though, this is a slow way to do things. I mean, you're fetching the full entities and then taking the time to trim them down. For those situations where you might not need all of the properties returned from an entity, projection queries allows Data Store to return only what you need, rather than fetching everything and having to do the culling yourself. Uh, for example, if you need to access only the keys from a query result, use a keys-only query. Uh, this can be really helpful in situations where you need to do a keys-only query first, and then fetch a subset of entities based on the results from that, rather than executing a larger general query. Likewise, using projections, your query returns abridged results with only the specified properties populated with values. Once again, since the query is only returning a subset of data, you can end up in a more performant position. Now, for FriendSet, we had to do a few fancier things, but sadly, we don't have time to cover all of that here. Instead, check out the Data Store Queries page, where you find a whole list of optimizations for your queries that can help in every situation you might find yourself in. And don't forget to check out the rest of the Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.